Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Budding Fashion Expert. This week we are in Lavella Bridal talking about a subscriber requested topic about dresses with off shoulders and everything you need to know about an off the shoulder wedding dress. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, let me know if you have any questions or video topics you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert style aspire, and we're so many different hats here at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. Be sure to hit the follow button on TikTok, at Lavella Bridal, and at Wedding Fashion Expert as well. A subscriber, Esther, wrote in asking about the fact that she has an off-the-shoulder dress and doesn't feel that the dress is secure on her. And then there were other subscribers that echoed on her exact comment saying, yes, please share more about what we can expect with off-the-shoulder dresses. That being said, yes, Esther, you are 100% correct. When you go for an off the shoulder dress, there is not going to be support that you're going to feel that a strap would in terms of a strap going this way on your shoulder, really holding the dress up. So if you're looking for the feeling of support, you will not receive that with an off the shoulder. That's going to require a strap that is bearing the weight of the dress. So even though, yes, you have these off the shoulder straps, your dress needs to be really snug and taken in by an expert seamstress to be able to stay on your body like a strapless. So essentially the off the shoulders hold no functional purpose other than the fact that it's really beautiful design. A lot of our brides opt for an off the shoulder. I have done a previous video on the most self-conscious things that brides are always trying to hide. I will link that video for you below but most of the time it is the arms and the belly. So that being said, our brides also opt for the off the shoulder, not only for the look of it, but to hide arms. I always make a point to tell any bride that is trying on an off the shoulder or any dress with a sleeve, you are going to have mobility restriction. This dress that I have on right now has an elastic loop because this isn't a detachable sleeve. It has an elastic loop that's looped over a button. So I actually have a little bit of elasticity as you can kind of see where that is right there. Now keep in mind, if you do too sudden of a movement, that can rip off really, really easily. So this is pure aesthetic. This is not function. This is just the look of it. With the off the shoulder or a sleeve, you are extremely, extremely limited in how much you can move. In a perfect world, what I would recommend for anybody who wants an off the shoulder, depending on the dress, of course, I recommend having this actually sewn onto the dress and having an elastic on the actual strap. So this would kind of hug my arm and this is something that your seamstress would do for you. You enjoy your ceremony off the shoulder and for the reception, for the functionality component of it, you lift these straps up and you make it an actual strap that is going to hold up the dress. Now these off the shoulders are more on the thicker side, which is not a bad thing because you could even put it more to the edge of the shoulder or you could completely remove them. But if you're looking for them to be functional and really serve a purpose other than covering your arms or aesthetically looking great for the style of the dress, this is really the only way you can do it. So that's what I recommend. I love a dual functioning strap. It also gives you the opportunity to change the look of your wedding dress. You have it like this with your veil on and then all of a sudden you are ready to party. But the main component here is not allowing it to be detachable, having it sewn on, having it nice and secure. I will tell you, I have had brides who have partied the night away that even sewn on, they, they ripped a sleeve. It's possible. These are not having fun proof. If you are partying the night away and you go to throw that bouquet, be careful. It's a garment of clothing. 
I have gotten into a taxi cab in New York City. I stepped up and the entire back of my dress ripped. Luckily, I had a coat to cover, but these are malfunctions that happen and your wedding day is not excluded from malfunctions. So you definitely want to be prepared with a sewing kit and have someone on standby because you never know. I hope that you found this video helpful and understood the options with the off the shoulder and what to really expect and the functionality of it all. If you have any further questions, please drop it below. I'm happy to answer them. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.